Hey, check check this out. I'm with Wes Lunt's father, Andy. Hello. <laughs> He's kind of quiet, very nice. Now, this summer, I was in the extreme camp. Let me see your shirt. This is a, the world famous OSU freak. And I made a couple of these t-shirts that had, well, you know this guy right here, the little orange and the power. And I sent that same shirt to uh, uh, Todd Munkin. This was the shirt that Todd wore on the first day of practice this summer. I wore the same shirt we had, Matt. We were like uh, uh, twins. And, and, and your son sat with me with lunch today. I guess if you're, you know, sitting with the same shirt that your boss has on, that he came over and it was like I was with the defensive guys. They all got up and then, uh, then Wes came over and said, do you mind if I sit with you? Nicest kid. Oh, good. Very quiet, yeah, very, very nice, quiet. but yeah. just I just loved it. Do you have any stories that you can share that's like maybe a favorite memory? Gosh, no, not off the top of my head. Not football-wise, anyway. You know, it's just been fun. I, I enjoy watching him and my other son play catch in the front yard. That's uh, so I don't have to anymore. So. Yeah, how good is uh, the other son's arm? He's pretty. He got a good arm. <laughs> we love quarterbacks here. Well, he's old, so he's done. Oh, okay. He's done. Now, uh, how did he get started in football? Wes? Yes. Uh, well, my older son played, and he just went to the gym one day and started throwing with the high school coach, and that's that kind of started. Do you think he'll start today? No idea. You have no idea. I have no idea. He's been taking snaps, so hopefully he'll get to play. But Clint's been taking snaps too. So between one of one of them will start. Let's put it. Down. Oh no 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 wait wait check. Oh, I just found out something that I've never seen before in my life. I'm here with Aaron. Aaron is from Vermont. Right? Is that correct? All right. And this is your first football game. Right. Ever. Ever in your life. Ever. How old are you? Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine years. She's never been to a football game, and her first football game is Oklahoma State. Woohoo! Now, why are you here? TCU. Because it's my girlfriend, and I found out she's never been to a football game, so I had to make sure. So, how did you dig up a girl that, that has never seen a football game? Because she's from Vermont. Where'd you find her? <laughs> in Austin, Texas. So you're in Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas. You're in Austin, Texas, and obviously it didn't rub off. No. You're in Texas and never saw a football. Yeah, we've been in Texas and didn't see a football game either. Wait, wait. I was complete. I was completely mistaken. I, in Vermont, I thought that they 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 slit the trees. But you actually, when you when you when you, you what do you do a tree? You tap a hole. And we're talking we're talking about what are we talking about? Uh, syrup. Maple syrup from Vermont. The syrup state. Yeah. So how do you get syrup? You tap a hole in a maple tree. Usually about this. How time do you of tap year. a hole? That I don't remember. Is it a metal pipe? I you just you, slam I in there. I think you drill it in and then put the tap like a it's like a copper pipe. Okay. You tap that in there. Oh! And then that kind of sounds like moonshine. <laughs> we add <laughs> copper to the. <laughs> And then you either hang a jug off of it or a line. But you've actually done that. Yeah. Have, have you tasted the, the the syrup? Yeah. As it, it comes out of the tree. It doesn't taste like syrup. It tastes like uh, sugar water. It's clear. It and is. It tastes like sugar water, like what you would feed a hummingbird. So what do you make? How do you make it brown? You boil it. Just boil it, boil it, boil it. You you boil it? Mm -hmm. Oh, you burn it. Basically. Like okay. you crystallize it, you just boil it until it thickens up. They have big vats and just boils and boils and boils. Oh, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> All right, check this out. We got some gate crashers. <laughs> I remember this guy when I pulled in this morning. What's your it's, name? Uh, Joe. Joe. <laughs> I'm Cheyenne. <laughs> and look what they found. All right, now if you head over here. So how you doing? How are we doing? Good, 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 good. good, good, good. good, 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 good. Oh, how you doing? Go Pokes. Get your guns out. All right. I'm here with one of our first <laughs> TCU guests, Patrick. Let's go Frogs, baby. Woo! Now, now how do you do the, the, the... It just looks like a little frog. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's a frog sound. All right, I got it. All right, what are some of the TCU traditions? We just drink a lot of beer and we tailgate and we have a lot of fun, dude. All right, but I mean... 
What do you all do for tailgate? When you go to your tailgate, you go ham. We like to get frogged. We like to get frogged. Go frogs. <laughs> do you like to